What's up? Fresh is our turn, baby. What's up? It's your boy Fresh here. Back at it with another vlog or whatever you want to call it. Just chilling at the studio with the dog. Oh, let me see. Hey, let me see the dog. <laughs> but yeah, today I'm going to do a full review on an NBA Jam uh, one up arcade machine. Uh, I got it like a week ago from Best Buy. It's definitely dope. It's the shit. So, um, yeah, I think I'm going to just do a full review on that. Uh, hope everybody doing good, staying safe and positive. And, uh, oh yeah, they go to the arcade right there, as you can see. So, um... two three inches away but I think it's a perfect height um, I actually love it um, sound it's dope <laughs> it was way louder than I even expected uh, one thing I did get a lot of people who hit me up about was this four players can four people play on it and when I had my friends over we, we um, we was playing a game without no problems. And my homeboys, some big niggas. I'm probably the, the, the littlest person out of all of them. Um, and you gotta think, when, and I was noticing when we was playing, like you may be one person maybe closer than the next. So you may be here, you may be closer, and this person next to you may be a little ways away. You know, so it gave everybody enough playing room. It was no like bumping arms or none of that. And, we played all night. Uh, we was betting money on it. We brought back so many childhood memories. That's why I really brought the game uh, system. Just for childhood memories. Thought it was dope. And to go with just the studio decoration and you know all my other decor I have. <laughs> but yeah, this is the machine. Uh, it came with the stool. Um, oh, slid over. Right now, Right now, we're currently at the uh, main menu. This is what you'll see when the machine starts up. But you can choose between your three games. You got NBA Jam, NBA Jam Tournament Edition, NBA Jam Hang Time, my personal favorite. Um, if you click over to the little nuts and bolts, that's your settings. If you click in there, uh, you can change the settings or speeds or whatever you want to change for each different game. So um, let's just click back out of there. And you know, um, you can do that for each game. One thing I do like about it, it shows you the leaders, you know, basically who the best players for each game. And if you want to select available games or go online, should I say, you just go down to available games and you can choose, pick from whoever you see available, just send them a. a all you got to do is just, you know, connect. Hey, how you doing today? See me? And it'll automatically connect to that player, whoever you're playing. Now, one thing I don't like about uh, online so far, I mean, I love it because you can play with people who are across the world or whoever got a cabinet. He probably deny me. I don't even want to play. So if you want to uh, just exit out, just hit your live button. And that'll automatically take you to your main menu. So I'm gonna leave this game. I actually love it. Uh, one thing I don't, I love about online. I already mentioned that you could play with people across the world. If my homeboys get a cabinet, we could play with each other. But it's still a little laggy, should I say? Um, which is 
total totally expected at these beginning stages um you know so that's my only gripe sometimes you plan it freezes a little bit and if you look at the main dashboard all you have to do is just hit live and that'll automatically pull up you know your network settings and where you set your account up password people who you play you can favor people block people so you could just do so much stuff so it is dope as hell. I love the game. I just love how, you know, if I wanna go and hang, hang time and go online, I could go to the available games. But I really don't play online because shit, playing against the computer, they don't miss. So playing against the computer really puts you on your P's and Q's. So when you do play somebody online, you should be nice. But that's just the main setup which I love. So right now, we're ready to play NBA Jam, just the current retro game. Uh, you see they got West to East, all the team. Now one thing about NBA Jam, it's only a two person limit. Like I said two person limit, it's only two people per team. Like you know if you ever, if you switch the players around, it's only it'd be them two people. They just switch back and forth on which one you want to control with. Now my personal favorite person to play with, a lot of people don't even realize he on here. Oh, wait, oh my god. It's a young Shaq. They got Barkley, um, a lot of other players, but I love playing with Shaq. Can't shoot, but his dunking is phenomenal. Um, David Robinson with the Spurs. That's what I'm ready to play. Uh, one thing I noticed about the game, it's just dope. <laughs> so, as you can see, I control Shaq. I don't control my other player that's on my team. I don't control the movements or anything, but I do control when they shoot and they pass. But if they close to the rim, they like automatically shoot and stuff. So it gives you a little flexibility not having to control both people totally, but you still kind of control the other players when they shoot pass, stuff like that. Um, so it's three buttons. You got your turbo, speed. I said terrible speed. You got your terrible block in your pass. So, um, so you can pass. See, I passed it back, even though that's the computer. That's going to be all day. That's all I do with Shaq, just dunks. Just nothing but dunks. And a lot of people don't realize, see that three-pointer. See, a lot of people think NBA Jam is just your dunk, 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 dunk. You, you play the right person and get the right shooters, you get smoked by just, you know, three pointers. So, um, that's one thing I do love the game. That was like a 720. Do not play with me. Do not play with me. Still, still. You see, I could pass and shoot with the computer. Even though it's the computer, I could still kind of, you know, give me a little flexibility. So I just wanted to give y'all, you know, a quick rundown of, look, somebody just wanted to play me online, but I don't want to play. Let me give y'all this review. See how I kind of lagged a little bit? I just missed the game. I didn't want to play. So I'm going to go back to the main menu. Just go through uh, NBA tournament, tournament, however you want to, you know, say it. Now, NBA tournament edition, as you can see, these is the updated features from what makes NBA Jam. Tournament edition, different from the standard NBA Jam. It's uh, at least three players a team rather than two players. Some teams got up to five players where you could choose different players, you know, so it just gives you a different variety of people to choose from. Um, that's really only the thing, the difference. is more dunks, different little layups. Uh, and really uh, updated roster. But far as gameplay, uh sorry about that folks. Far as gameplay, the game is 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 totally no different from the first game. It's just uh, updated. And one thing I like about it, they give you attributes on the players rather than just showing you little meters on, but it gives you like Patrick Young dunks is a nine and you know what I'm saying? John Sparks, his speed is an eight and 
stuff like that. So I just want to switch them around. I'm going to play with them. I'm going to play the Warriors, Chris and Mullen in them. So, uh, and I'm playing with player four. So how y'all looking at me on the screen? I'm literally sitting on the corner playing with player four. And I still have a perfect view, perfect everything that I could play the game. And it's just, that's going to, oh my, that's a nice block. That was a nice block. Like I said, one thing I like to play uh, against the computer, oh shit, I didn't even know I had the ball. Uh, it, it makes you be, it makes you really nice because the computer do not miss. When I say the computer do not miss, that was probably the first time I didn't play the game where they missed. They make everything, especially third and fourth quarter. And you really got to be on your P's and Q's. So, as far as NBA Jam, NBA Jam, the tournament gameplay is totally the same. Past that. That's money. But as far as the game, gameplay is totally the same. Uh, everything is, 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 is about, about the same. As far as NBA Jam and NBA Jam tournament edition. Now... Some real gameplay, my favorite NBA Jam. Well, it's not even called NBA Jam. It's NBA Hang Time because NBA Jam sold. Up. There was a whole bunch of little debacle on why it was called Hang Time. But one thing I love about NBA Jam Hang Time is just alley hoops, double dunks. Um, just the alleys and, and, and the double like it's just it just gives you more of a uh well you see your boy fresh up there it just gives you more of a a, a different vibe of the game basically and that's one thing i do love about the game um so you know like the bulls you see pippen if i wanted to go through cool coach long we care rob like you see what i'm saying like a few players on there rather than just two or three like tournament and uh, regular NBA Jam had. So, of course, I play with the Bulls, my favorite team. Since Baltimore don't have a team, I, I play with the Bulls you know, since a kid. And um, same difference. Some official gameplay. As we go into the sky, see what I'm saying? That shit gonna be all day. Like all day. I live in the sky. Come in. Give me that. Oh yeah. Oh, the defense is dead too. Don't ever, don't ever get it twisted like we ain't dead. Is you going up? Don't worry, I got you. Like, that's what I do. That's why NBA Gen. I was ready to say NBA Gen. NBA hang time is my favorite. Cause it's just it's just it's just more of an exciting game to give you. Oh. Oh yeah, we not. Oh, give me, give me a. Grandma, ma, I love Larry Johnson. That's one of my favorites. Should I shoot it or go for it? Steph Curry range. Don't play with me. Do not play with me. That's what I do. Don't get me hot. I'm trying to tell you, I start pulling that motherfucker from half court. God damn. But. Still got it off. I could have threw the oop, but I still got it off, you know. There you go. Oh, I missed. I got you. I messed that money up. That was my fault. Come in. Come in. Where do you think you... I blocked it, but they got the rebound. Like, you got to be on your P's and Q's with this game. Come in. Come in. In your face. And one thing I noticed about the game, and I be up late nights playing this game by myself. I don't get bored playing the game. I never got bored yet playing the game. Like, I, I mean, of course, you, you'll be like, I ain't playing it no more. Ooh. And you're just done with it. But as far as, like, it's always exciting playing each game. And it's like... You think you're going to win, then you get down to that fourth quarter and goddamn computer don't ah, get it off. Then the computer be making everything in the fourth quarter. So it's like you got to. Ooh, give me that. Give me that. You got to. Uh, 
really be on your shit playing the game. So that's why I really love uh, playing the game, hang time, because it's I could be going up for a dunk, and then Rodney can go up for a dunk, and I could just throw it to him, and you know. Uh, so to me, I just, I just, just love the game. Uh, get y'all closer to some action. Come on, Rodney. My oh, we hot. Don't worry, I got you. I gotta get him the ball. Ah, that's my fault. The run is still hot. Look, let's go, shorty. So, um, I just love playing the game. Uh, it's just dope, actually. You just, if you're thinking about getting the cabinet, please get it. Cause, come on, get off me. Easy. Come on, you gotta give me that shot. See, a lot of people just try to play the game too for, ah, that's some bullshit. A lot of people play the game just for dunks and stuff, but like I said, if you get some good shooters, you could shoot the lights out somebody. And I, a lot of times, I be really just trying to, like, get a little open. Oh, I'm running to the side and I'm shooting. Like, I don't even, I don't even try to dunk all the time. And that's what me and, I was, me and my friends was noticing. Like, if you're just trying to look for dunks, you will lose a game. But, you know. So if you're thinking about getting this game, please get the game. I haven't played NBA Jam since probably uh, since I had a Sega or something like that. And it just brought back all those memories as a kid. Like, go up. Go up, Rodman. I'm getting raped. Oh, I shouldn't use those words. Uh, hood turns when you know. I'm going against my... Stupid. 25. I'm in the game at halftime. So whoever up at the halftime wins. And uh Damn, why would you do that? Okay, we up by one point. Get the steal. Get the steal. So there's actually two more quarters, but I just wanted to give y'all some gameplay. And you can see it shows all of the stats, halftime, and it shows the end game stats, whatever. So I just wanted to give y'all a quick little review of the NBA Jam One Up Arcade Machine. Please go get the machine. It is dope. Uh, I'm about to finish the game and I check back in with y'all.